All right, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the oxidation on any fiberglass boat. Uh, this happens to be a Boston Whale, the Dauntless 18. Basically, that's faded. It's got some chalk on it. Not a lot, but uh, it has been oxidized and uh, compounded into a nice shiny surface like this. I've already done this side, or at least part of it, uh, so you can see what we're facing here and how we're going to clean it up. Here's the items I'm going to be using. Um, first off, I'm going to wet sand it, but I'm going to use these three M pads and uh, the gray is about an 800 grit the white is about a thousand grit and uh, they actually say it's a quad zero steel wool equivalent and what I found is that using these two actually leaves it with a little bit of a shine but after that we're gonna hit it with a uh, wool buff pad and the 3M medium um, I could have gone with the heavy but since it's got a light coat of oxidation I'm gonna go ahead with the medium and then I'm going to finish it off with the uh, 3M Perfected Wax. So let me go ahead and uh, start doing this and show you uh, exactly how I got this done. All right, so before I do anything, I'm going to give the area that I'm working on a nice wash down. I've got a mixture of a little bit of ammonia with some Dawn dish soap. Um, not that that's going to hurt any old wax because there isn't any, but it will get all the grime off. And, and the reason I'm doing this is before I do any... Uh, wet sanding or, or polishing. I don't want any dirt to be on the boat that might put some scratches in the gel coat that's left. So let me go ahead and get that done. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the gray and basically I'm gonna wet sand this. You're gonna see the oxidation kind of gooping up and getting on the pad, but I'm gonna keep it uh, wet. I'm gonna keep it rinsed and I'll hit it with the hose periodically. But uh, let me go ahead and get that started and show you what it looks like. You'll notice that the uh, oxidation that's coming off is a little less after that first rinse and pass. So I'm going to do another pass with the gray and then hit it with the white. Now you'll also notice that I'm doing circular motions. I do an occasional straight pass to get into areas that I wouldn't be able to get into otherwise. But you want to stay circular and uh, that way you're going to avoid swirl marks, hopefully. <laughs> Now we're gonna hit it with the white. Again, this is about a thousand to twelve hundred grit, is uh, what they're saying the equivalent is. Now it's hard to see here, but. You probably can't, the camera's not picking this up, but one of the things you'll notice after it dries off is that after hitting it with the gray and then the white, you actually get some of the shine back. Um, not a lot to, to really make it uh, worthwhile to leave it there, but uh, you're really getting close at that point. And you can see it if you look at it at an angle, there's some of the shine is back, although you won't be able to see it on the camera. Here's a shot up the side. You can see where I was talking about when I said there's almost some shine left. And about a foot in front of the whaler, you can see where the uh, oxidized uh, gel coat that hasn't been touched yet is. Now this is dry, I gave it some time to dry so I can give you a realistic and fair view of what just the 800 and the 1000, the, uh, the gray and the white pad do. So I think, uh, I think it does a lot actually towards getting the oxidation off and bringing some of the shine back. But we'll see what this looks like once we get through with the medium cutting compound. Alright, so this half of the boat is done all the way to the front. 
Uh, the next step is going to be uh, compounding with that 3M Medium Perfected uh, compound. And um, then we'll wax it and we'll see what it looks like. All right, it's a day and a haircut later and uh, we're going to start the compound and waxing process. Um, using the 3M products, and an uh, interesting thing is there's a whole guide here which will give you some guidance on which one to use. I'm going with the medium cut because the amount of uh, oxidation wasn't terrible. Uh, one thing you should know is on the 3M products, I actually have a peel open instruction um, kit. So I'm going to be using the medium cut compound. I'm also going to be using my uh, trusty old Wen polisher, variable speed. Um, I have a 100% wool bonnet. I actually have got one from 3M and um, I purchased some more from TCP Global. I'll be putting links to all this stuff in the uh, description below. So let me get started. One of the things I'll be doing is using a damp cloth. I'll be working in sections that are approximately two by two, roughly, and uh, I'll be applying the, the uh, compounding polish on there and then uh, using the uh, machine to, to polish it down. So let me get started with that. I might go over it twice, it just depends on how much shine I get out of it. I do recommend putting glasses on, which I didn't on the first go around. When you first use those bonnets, uh, they shed like crazy and they fling stuff everywhere. move on to the next section one thing I wanted to mention is when I'm going over the decals I do apply a little bit less pressure so I'm trying to preserve them I don't want to replace them unless I absolutely have to So I really wanted to capture this. Um, you can see the difference between where it's not compounded and where it's compounded. And, and hopefully we're capturing this, but what a huge difference. When I saw this, I, I wanted to bring out another camera just to show you uh, exactly uh, how much uh, shine that compound's bringing out. All right, so we're done with the compound, and the next thing is to use the 3M Perfected Bolt Wax. What I'll be doing is I got a slightly damp rag, and I'll be putting it on in uh, sections about two by two, run, uh, working my way to the back of the boat, and not letting it dry. You don't want to let it haze over. You want to rub it in and um, basically get it off. So let me go ahead and start that. I'm going to start with the front and work my way back. Ooh, it smells good. All right, it's time to make this uh, officially a North Carolina boat. So I'm going to put the uh, registration sticker and numbers on. Now we got it all cleaned up. Now for the fun part. Can you flip it? Yeah, 
So it is now officially a North Carolina boat. All right, so we're finished with this project. Let me give you an overview of what this ended up looking like. I've got a GoPro. I'm just gonna kind of do a walk around. So here's looking up the side of the boat, and you can see it's got a pretty good shine going on. Now this is after the uh, wet sanding with 800 uh, gray pad. Uh, 1000 white pad and then uh, subsequently the uh, compounding medium compound and then the, uh, the wax and I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, one thing I will say is that if you need any of the products I use in this video, you can look in the description. I'll have links to most of it, if not all of it, below. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.